Hey guys and welcome to Azuru Plays, or should I say Azuru Demos, Neo Cap. So this is a game that's been on my wish list for a while since it got announced, but I haven't had a chance to play it and I saw it had a demo so I thought, why not demo it for you guys? There comes a point in any long drive where your mind goes off a little, off the road. It's like the flashing lines in the highway hypnotise you in some weird way. Like it's normal to talk to the clouds. Or come up with a name for the hundredth Joshua tree you pass in this endless desert. I was officially at that point, and so was... Jojo! Only 40 miles to go. To Los Ojos. To my new life, to my oldest friend. It was like a gift when Savvy called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast, and she knew it. It used to be her life too. Losing jobs to Capra's AI. Juggling a dozen gigs and still coming up short. Getting way too comfortable. Just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again, this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what we had what had come between us. Or what we'd said when we were angry. All that mattered was the road ahead. That, and the battery charges that had set me back 30 coin. Nothing like rolling into your new life completely broke. No problem, this is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver, just drive. If I could pick up even one ride out here, I'd be in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with Savvy like old times. I started up Neocab. So, we're a taxi driver in an AI universe, so I'm assuming it's like Tesla everywhere, everyone's driving a Tesla, Teslas are driving us, but we are the only um, regular human driver. So, hello Lena, she's got a, she's got a rating of 4.9 and the daily, daily goal is $35, cents, pounds, currency, coin. Okay, cool. She's got like a funky haircut. I like her hair colour. Um, that's how much money we have. We've had... Okay. Let's have a look at this. Oh, she has a little like bullet journal kind of thing. Los Ojos. Um, probably saying that really wrong. All my Spanish speakers are about to cuss me out real quick. Um, <laughs> but okay, this is nice. This is neat. She says she has like a kind of bullet journal system. That's cool. And then the map. Okay, so this is our first ride. Okay, so let's get in here. Liam Byrod, faster than a shutter snap. Okay, so I guess we'll do him because he's on our way. For a second, I thought maybe Liam had put his pin in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first, all I saw was desert and dusk. Then I spotted him, a lone figure, dragging what looked like a huge luggage or a small elephant along the highway. He got in the cab, he got in the car, bags first, and then squeezed in like he was the sidekick. Hey! Um. Hi, pick up for Liam. You are Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, um... I could feel his anxiety creeping up from the back seat. I can't help it, I absorb that stuff like a sponge. Yes, thank god, yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh man. What's up? I thought I spent all day out in the desert taking photos of the stars and the yellow skyline. I thought I'd lost my memory card, the bastard's smaller than a grain of rice. Why do they keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Southern California. Anyway, hello, Lena, right? Said on the app. Yep, that's me. Awesome, thanks for picking me up. All the way out here in Nowheresville. No problem. I was headed this way anyway, plus. New cab goes where Capra fears to tread. Where are you coming from? 
Cactus Flats. I don't know that one. Going to the big city on holiday? More like a permanent vacation. The car's carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? I, I don't know. I think I'm... She sounded excited, but now she's sounding kind of nervous. So we'll go with the first. Excited. Never. I've never been to Los Ojos before. Stop it. This is your first time in Automation City? Is that crazy? No. I mean, yes. Moving somewhere you've never even visited. But damn, it's also very cool. Don't sweat it. It's mine too, though. I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of. I'm a photographer, or trying to be. I'm taking a year off my real job to see what I can make happen. I wonder what his real job is. A year to travel the world and take pictures. The dream. Savvy and I talked about doing something like that after college until I couldn't go. Instead, she met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. They broke up after a screaming fight in Milan and came back home with her half-finished clay figure of herself. She always loved playing the muse. So, what about you? Why hello? I'm moving in with my best friend. Actually, I haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then we kind of kind of learn. Why did that just slip out? <sighs> I always forget how easily it is to spill your secrets when you're only making eye contact with the road in front of you. For sure. I moved around a lot. UK, France, Canada. Now here. Sort of fading in and out different friend groups. Maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So why now? What made you take the leap? She asked. All she ever had to do was ask. I just realised that my life isn't as good without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just something that makes sense, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. Exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. I hope. Guess this photography thing is sort of my fresh start. So, while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Capra Tower. Capra Tower? Gross. Um, this one. Doing a cover shoot for Multinational Monster Magazine. Hey, whoa, it's just a beautiful building. Your emotional state affects which options you can choose. My hands tighten on the steering wheel. I had nothing good to say about Capra. Oh, so I can't pick that option? What? Okay. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly over the entire tech sector. The spoils of selling out human dignity, right? He shifted in his seat and tried to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Capra. That name carried so much baggage for me. My first driving gig. My only income stream. Before they replaced me and every other driver with autocars, soulless capsules of glass and plastic, but hey, those things don't need health insurance. I tend to stop just seeing their logo, which was all over the place. Nearly every passing car was one of theirs. Crawling our streets, covered in sensors, collecting data on everything and everyone. Just hearing Liam say the name had my heart pounding in my ears. Right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. I felt like all the energy in the car had flipped. He was closed off, suddenly, cold. It is exactly why everyone says that talking politics with a pack is the quickest way to tank your star rating. My 4.9 driver rating definitely didn't want me to didn't want me to push him. Of course, you're right. I didn't mean to be so snarky. What had gone into me? My hackers were up and over what? A photographer who wanted to uh, wanted a picture of a famously impressive building? It was exactly what happened with me and Sadie. I got all emotional over something that really wasn't a big deal. And I pushed her away. 
You say volatile, Lena. Like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried. Like all my bad feelings just leapt out of me and poisoned my life when actually everything was just fine. I couldn't let that happen again with us. Ugh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm biased. I've kind of got a history with that whole company. It's all good. I just don't want to talk about it. There's a lot of baggage attached to Eloy, trust me, I really do. But I'm not here to pick it up. This week, for once, I'm just a tourist. Well, sorry again anyway. Don't worry about it, seriously. Look, if I wanted a silent ride with a brainless driver, I'd have called a cab for You're much more fun. Aww. As the sun went down, I could just make out the first lights of LA appearing out of the desert. Suddenly, like a mirage. We were almost there. The city lights spilled across my windshield as we crossed the Los Ojos city limits. He pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter clicking away behind me. I thought about my new apartment, my new life. No more nights alone, no more longing for change. I was making the change and I was ready. Here I am, savvy. It's real. I did it. I pulled up to Liam's destination, a modest hotel. Nice, but it had an art to it. Made sense. You know this is going to be great, right? You're doing something really big and I think it's going to pay off. Thanks. I'm sorry again for being so testy before. I'm in a Capra town now and that's that. It's nothing. I've gotten into my own share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah, with much worse opinions. And listen, I know you've already got a friend in town but I'll be crisscrossing town in neocabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again. I'd like that. He shouldered his luggage and headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the doors. I'll wave back. I guess I made it. Liam Braid gave you five stars. Well, hey, a stupendous <laughs> a serendipitous. I don't even know how to say that goddamn word. Right, with the spirit of driver, welcome to Elo. Your rating stayed the same. Nice. You earned some coin. Cha Ching. Very good. Now an outer lens. Battery usage. Text message from Savvy. Ooh. And I think we'll end the episode here because I know that this demo is quite long. So we're going to be splitting up into a couple of segments and I shall see you all in the next episode.